What up folks, KUT here. This is an event video, a um, little nerd thing going on today. It says a Star Wars event at uh, Asylum Records in Chandler. They have an assigning, this guy who played a Gamorrean guard in one of the Star Wars movies in uh, Return of the Jedi, actually, he's gonna be signing. So I'm gonna film a little bit and check it out, see what I can see. And I'm gonna see if he'll sign this um, action figure I got. Got one of him and you know, whatever. I'm gonna see what's up. All right, y'all, peace. So here we have the owner of Asylum Records. Can you tell us about the shop, sir? Um, well, we're in the best record store in the valley. I don't care what anybody says. What do you carry here? Everything. Pops, records. Uh, I used to be a record store. Now I'm a pop shop with some with, with a few vinyls in it. Got cassettes, posters, guitar picks, memorabilia, autographs, pretty much everything. Backstage passes, all kinds of stuff. So any, any upcoming events that you would like to tell, like something in a few months that you'd like to tell people about? I got a little secret that's going to be announced okay. on the 14th and it has something to do with the Mandalorian. I'm going to have a Mandalorian actor in here, okay. but I'm Perfect. just not telling anybody who it is yet. Gotcha. Perfect, man. Got to go to Asylum Records' Facebook page, and you'll find out there. There you go. Where are you located? I am at 2990 North Amaskal Road on the southwest corner of Amaskal and Elliott in Suite Number 5. Got it. When you see the building with all the flames on it, you're in the right place. There you go. Perfect. All right, man. Thanks. Thank you. You. Here we have a 501st Hello. Legion person. Uh, yes. Can you tell us about the 501st? Uh, we are a charity cosplay group, so we dress up like Star Wars characters, the bad guys. Um, go out to different events like this. Sometimes we do um, charity walks, go to hospitals, and bring smiles to kids and stuff like that. There you go. It's cool. Cool. So we have here with us today. We've got Stormtrooper. Yes, we do. And everybody know the supreme leader, Kylo, Kylo Ren himself. Do not be deceived. By the Jedi. Control your thoughts, or I will do it for you. And we've got a death trooper over here. Yes, we do. Yes. Yes. Yep. Right, Joel's so yeah, can you talk about talk about that a little bit? Uh, the suits so that you build your suits. Yes, most most of, of the people build their own suits. Um, so you can buy uh, pre like kits, and then yeah. they fit them to themselves. So um, different kids have different aspects to do. I don't know all of the details with all of them, but um, it is time consuming, but it's a project, to, it's a labor of love. We love to do right. what we do and put it together and they're screen accurate. So that's yeah. uh, one of the, the cool things about it. Right so what you see there is what they were having a movie. It's yes. not better. Yes. Right. I think it may be better a little bit sometime. Yeah, that's all. Nice. Oh no! What do you got to tell the people today? What do you got to tell? What's going on here at the shop? Uh, this is an awesome shop, and you really need to get down to Asylum Records. Where is it at? It's in Chandler, on the corner of Alma School and Elliott Road. Right on, you got it. All right. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Steve? Good, man. How are you, man? I'm doing good. I have this guy here. You want me to sign that? Yeah, hey, if you don't mind. I see these guys coming in. All right. There's my oh, nice. the guards. Very cool. I should wear one, right? Mm -hmm. I see the first five oh, yeah, coming yeah. in. Yeah. 
So how did, we, how did you land the role? I probably, you probably hear that question all, all the time. I am, um, well, if you look at that picture there, who's that gentleman look like? You kind of look like Billy D. Williams, that's like younger. Son. That's a son. Oh, okay. So that's we got Corey, so okay. Corey and I had a band. <laughs> we had a band together. Oh, Corey, okay. Corey and I, we're musicians. Met in yeah. martial arts class. And, and, um, and what, what happened was, that, um, He's not an actor, but we had a, a studio. We rehearsed at a, at Billy's house when he lived with his dad yeah. in the 80s. And Billy had asked him to stand in. Okay. And he said, well, I don't know if I want to go to Yuma. And we're in the middle of, you know, creativity. Yeah. And Billy invited me to go along and, 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 and continue to create on the set. Right. So I was a, a guest. And he stood in for his dad. He was good with stunts and different things. And by three or four days in Yuma, Arizona, Driving out 45 minutes to the set, I felt like long days, I want to do something, even though I was very grateful to have all those amenities. Yeah. And the producer took Billy out one night, we were invited to go along, and I asked if I could work for free. Oh. You know. And the next day I showed up, and they made me the guard, and they made Corey Klatu. Very nice. And um, Billy D took that, and that was put away for maybe 10 years ago. Uh -huh. And then when it came out, Ten years ago, people said, "Oh, you got killed by Luke on the barge," and I had no idea that it was a oh, popular gotcha. thing, you know. Yeah. And then ten years ago, that's when it started. Come out, you're gonna come out and sign, and the whole thing, you know. So it's a big deal, man. Big deal. Big deal. It's unbelievable. So what was it like working with Lucas? How was his direction? Well, he was he, he wasn't directing it. He uh, um he was there, that's but very kind of elusive. Though. Yeah, it was it was Marguan. Um, okay. Richard. Mm -hmm. Was the, was the actual director. Okay, very good, very good. So are and you from Arizona? No, I'm from New Jersey originally. Me too. What part? South. Hoboken. A small town called Kensbury. You're from Hoboken. Yeah, originally, originally. Okay. But I came to California in 78. Okay, I was two years old. <laughs> yeah, how long, you, <laughs> when did you come out of here? Uh, mm -hmm. 2007. They send a lot of Jersey guys here, witness protection in Arizona. Oh, yeah, well, didn't mother mother. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So what do you do out here? You, are, you, are you a filmmaker? No, this is my, yeah, I do have a couple of documentaries. This is my YouTube stuff. Oh, okay. I'm an artist. I paint. I've done some art shows out here, a lot of Star Wars stuff, a lot of pop stuff. In Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, I live here. I live out in, in Tempe now. But I you, live here not far from this shop. Yeah. And that, what year did you come out? Uh, 2007. Okay. Yeah, just finished in um, Art Institute of Philadelphia, graduated there. And then oh, cool. Well, so, Philly. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right there. Yeah, right across the river. So, I, mean, I um, came out in 78, but I did my time in the 70s in okay. New York and Jersey, as you know. Right. It was a whole yeah. different thing. Oh, yeah. It was a whole different thing. Yeah. So you, you mentioned know. music. Um, what do you... I, 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 play, I play guitar, sing, yeah. Guitar, okay. Yeah. Uh, play with Crazy Town, back at, a lot of hip-hop stuff yeah. at one time. Yeah. Black Eyed Pea, um, New Edition, I went with Comeback, because yeah. Brett Mazur, who started Crazy Town, he was producing those guys and uh, I played guitar on a lot of that stuff um, at one point which is not my style as much but it was cool to yeah you know because I had that because East Coast if, if we're, we're funky uh, we're, right, we're right, funky. right 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 if you take you know so that part of it but my music I like everything you know very good I go see Led Zeppelin and go see Miles and yeah Oh yeah, Miles. I just finished watching a documentary on him. It's on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And Weather Report it's and good. Wayne Short, those guys, yeah. they carry the, yep. the torch, man. And I'm a vinyl guy. I collect vinyl. And I come from beat making, so I sample. I, I, didn't, bring vinyl, I didn't bring my vinyl, man. I didn't bring my vinyl. When I moved, yeah, I had like 2,000 records, and who's going to take now, them with you? I lived here before I moved to here. Years ago, I lived in L.A. I was working with Luke, so I worked at 20th Century Fox. Oh, you worked at 20th Century Fox? By, by the like golf course here. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Boulevard. Yeah, I know you I know, know well, yeah. Yeah, so I used to work there. Chevy and Hills, man. I have friends yeah. there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I was working there, and I left my records back east. But then family, they were in storage unit, and everybody started complaining about, there's records in here, there's records in here. So I lost a bunch. Oh, I, I lost a bunch of classics. Like I know yeah. now. I want to, you know, now it's coming back. The, the first oh, year. Oh, it's back, yeah. Vinyl <laughs> sell more this year than CDs. Yeah. You I, know? Have, I get vinyl. I get the it first like, regularly, like... This is making me a little crazy with the vinyl because yeah, I, yeah. I don't have a turntable now. She right. does, That's you know. But I want to own a techniques. I have a recording oh, studio, yeah. so I want to hook it up to the studio and hear yeah. that record for real, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, I they mean, make some. Oh, they make an, oh, it's some great companies out there with turntables. Oh well, the whole, you know, the whole Jedi stuff thing is amazing. Yeah. 
Of course. Mm -hmm. um, but just the, the diversity of the people involved with the creativity, yeah. you know, just unbelievable. Right just uh, Stuart Freeborn who designed Yoda and, mm -hmm. you know, just the mechanics and everything that makes it happen. It's just incredible to see that. Right. It all Organism, yeah. yeah it's right like unbelievable. School. Unbelievable. Well, I appreciate you. Well, thank you, my friend. Yep, thank you. This Good to meet you, man. YouTube. Good to meet you, too. I'll leave you one of my cards, too. Yeah, please. It'll, it'll lead you to the channel I have. Look me up on um, Facebook. Instagram. Okay. You use Instagram? Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Are you on Facebook as well? Yeah, I am, but I use, I'm usually uh, mostly Instagram and the YouTube channel. I'll send you my music. I'll text it to you. Okay. All right? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, my friend. Yep. Pleasure All to right, meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. Yeah, these are the So this is KUT here at Asylum Records. Just got the action figure signed by Steven Casazino. And um, I spoke to some of the people from the 501st Legion. They are the Star Wars group here in Arizona. If you ever want to join and do that cosplay thing, just showing you a different perspective and a different uh, thing when it comes to uh, pop culture and ways to have fun or whatever. So there you have it, KUT, and I am out. Control your thoughts, or I will do it for you.